Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3, which is releasing this month on January 29th, I decided that I would just react to my old fan works. Not really react, but just like kind of let you know like my process, my thought process through each one, or like just like why I thought of making that artwork. Let me just get into it. I have my MacBook right here and I am just going to kind of like go through each piece and let you know about them. I played Kingdom Hearts when I was a kid. Like most of us, we waited for the game for a long time. Most of these artworks I made when I was a little bit older, so I started drawing at four, in fourth grade and then I just kind of like kept practicing and practicing and practicing, so. It only became really official until I was in 8th grade and I started selling my artwork in Anime Central. And that's when I started like really taking initiative and drawing more digital illustration for Kingdom Hearts. So, And in college, like I got even more obsessed with the game just because, I don't know, I just kind of like... I was already obsessed with it when I was a kid, but it's like when you go back and then replay everything again, you become even more obsessed with it. So that really like made me very inspired and made me draw a lot more those years as well. So starting with this one, this one is based off Chain of Memories and this is something that I drew long time ago. I think this is one of my first artworks that I started selling. Um, what we just have there is just like the cards so you know how in chain of memories the game boy advanced one i don't remember if the playstation one was like that too i don't think it was or maybe it might have been i don't remember but you know like how you have to use like the card system in order to like pass like every boss like every move is like a card right so that's why i made like riku roxas Naminé and Kyrie into cards. So that was my thought process for that picture. And of course, Sora is right here. He's the hero of Kingdom Hearts. So of course, he's like right there. And um, my style is chibi. So everything that I have drawn, everything that I'm going to show is chibi style artwork, which means they just look adorable because I like cute things. So of course, my artwork is going to be cute, right? And then next, I have this picture of Sora from Halloween Town. And Halloween Town was one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts lands. Um, I don't know why, I just like really like um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I really like Sora's outfit in there. It was really, really cool. So I like made an artwork for it. And you know, like he has this really cute face and I don't know, I just like made like this kind of background for him too and I just wanted it to look like overall like super cute. And I actually printed like prints of this. I think I made a bookmark of him and yeah, very simple drawing. Um, it didn't take too long to make but I mean I just like the end product. Looking back at it right now, I actually really like it. I think it's super cute and I actually want to print it out and like just hang it up on my wall right now because this is one of the arts that artworks that I really like from the past. This was like a quick sketch that I made because I usually like I usually get artist block a lot so I just kind of sit there in front of the computer and I just like think like I know most people sketch and then they like do line art and then do their um, coloring on their programs or whatever but I usually just kind of I, I usually don't like to take too long when I draw. I usually like to do things very quick, which is good and bad. Good because, I mean, when I was selling artwork, it made things like a lot easier to, you know, just sell it. But when you really want to take time and like work on something, it's a whole different story. But I was bored one day and I was inspired by Sora and his outfit. And I just decided to draw Sora and his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. So. That's the end product. It's very cute. Yeah, it, it was really quick, so that's why like the outfit looks a little bit sloppy, but I mean, I'm not the best at like anatomy, so that's like the 
crappy part, but you know, practice makes perfect. It, when I get back into drawing, which I will, I'll be sure to draw plenty of Kingdom Hearts. And yeah, moving on. Okay, I have this drawing from Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. It's based off that game. I don't know why my tongue is twisting now. Um, this is one of my favorite Kingdom Hearts games. Of course, I love every game in the series, but if you haven't watched my other Kingdom Hearts video, I really love Axel and Roxas. They're my two favorites. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are similar to me. In that game, Roxas is kind of wondering like who the boy in red is the whole time, and he like goes in throughout the whole game like saying, like, oh, who's the boy in red? Who's the boy in red? And then I just made this like really cute drawing like where he's thinking of like who is the boy in red and um that's just kind of the end product yeah this one had more thought into it and it wasn't just like cute i just actually wanted some kind of scene from the game to come to life next up i have this picture which is my favorite picture so i ended up ordering a skin for my new PS4 Pro, which I haven't bought yet, but I will make a video when I open that up and of course attach the skin to the PS4. I am gonna use this picture of Roxas, which is my favorite picture that I have ever drawn in the history of every picture that I have ever drawn. And I'll tell you why. First of all, my favorite color is pink. This matches my theme. This matches like my whole YouTube theme. If you go onto my channel, everything is pink. This picture of Roxas that I made is pink. And it's based off 300 and 358 over two days. I always mess, mess, mess up that title name. And you know how like him and Axel and Shion are talking about like the winner popsicle stick that you get a prize from it. And that's what why it says winner across and he's eating the sea salt ice cream popsicle and it's just really cute i really this one really took a lot of effort i really researched on like a different style i really put a lot of effort into this picture so that it could look like this so i'm very proud of this artwork this is definitely going on my ps4 pro skin i already have it ordered and i'm so excited to apply it so definitely excited for that and next up, we have my second favorite drawing. This is Roxas and Axel, and this is one of my favorite arts that I have done as well. Um, this Around this time, I, as you can see from the last picture too, I was really into doing like something like graphic design. I mean, it's not good graphic design, but I was really trying to incorporate like my graphic design um, knowledge in the back round of these things i used illustrator for the background and then i of course did the picture itself on photoshop so this is roxas and axel it's roxas hugging an axel plushie and it's just really cute like i just really wanted to make some cutesy art for kingdom hearts originally when i made this picture i wanted to do a fan comic and do like a whole like kingdom hearts comic in my style but I never got around to it because my creativity kind of just like exploded and like I lost everything creative about my mind. So hopefully it comes back one day and I can do it. But drawing a comic is so hard. I don't know how some people do it. And I have an Axel plushie myself. I don't remember if I bought it after I drew this or like before it and then I like drew it in here. Yeah. So very cute and last but not least i have a drawing that i did of myself so i made myself as an organization 13 member of course i don't look like this anymore i have longer hair but at that time i had like this short hair and then i drew myself with like the keyblade and all my favorite things about kingdom hearts roxas and axel of course and yeah this one i did in a I believe I did this one still in Photoshop, but I used a different brush that, that gave it the watercolor effect. And yeah, this was just like my DeviantArt profile picture. Or like, not my profile picture, but just like that picture that goes like as your Deviant ID. That was what I used for it. 
So that was it. Um, in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3, I just decided that I would post this. I'm really excited for the game to come out on January 29th. And I haven't pre-ordered it yet, but I am waiting until I get my PS4 Pro. And then after that, I will definitely look into getting the game. And I'm so excited. Um, I know that a lot of us in the Kingdom Hearts community are very excited. And um, it's just really crazy that it has been so long and it's finally going to come out. But at the same time, it's bittersweet because it's just like what else are we gonna wait for after that and it's just like a really crazy feeling so i hope i didn't bore you guys too much with this video i really just wanted to um, get my artwork out there and if you guys have any questions like if you guys want to make kingdom hearts fan art of your own and you have like questions of like what like apps to use or like what programs adobe programs i don't know what people use to draw these days but um, I can definitely help out with that or give out some resources or make tutorials. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a separate YouTube channel for my artwork and I don't know like if I'm going to do it now or like later as soon as I like figure out what this channel is going to be based off of or like how it's going to grow. So um, after that I'll definitely look into making a separate art channel. For now I'm going to stay on this channel so sorry if I'm all over the place with like games and makeup and fashion and everything but I did make my new um, cover art and it does say that I'm games fashion and makeup which are like three different things but we'll see how that goes so thanks guys for watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future updates and yeah so put down in the comments below what you're excited about most about Kingdom Hearts 3 and yeah, so just let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.